Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cult of the Lamb. So, I was looking through guides and stuff, basically just to determine whether or not I've gotten all of the, like, meat, the juice of the new update. Which, I think for the most part I have. Like, technically speaking, I can unlock the new outfits, but a lot of them are just, like, repetition-based or whatever. I have to, like, double-check them. But there is one thing that caught my eye, and that is... What do you want, Anjula? It'd be so funny if we pulled some hilarious pranks on Weber. They're a real picky eater, so let's make them eat poop. Actually, fuck off. Are you joking? What a fucking piece of garbage. I can't believe this person. Just the other day, he was like, How could you let such horrible creatures into our cult? How could you, master? Anyways, uh, there's something I saw. There's a guide by... Uh, let me just... <laughs> let me look at the thingy. I have a thingy. You should be seeing it on screen right now. There's a guide by Departed Daylight that talks about these secret followers that we could have been getting this whole time. Uh, even before the patch that has like a whole secret achievement associated with it. Now, I never got these followers because when I saw the text for these necklaces, I thought it was just like, you get extra shit for sacrificing dudes, but apparently not. So... I guess, uh, yeah, Myrna Attorney, Turn Attorney, dude. You are gonna... Can I, can I talk to you? Oh, I can't even... Oh, what a loser, I can't interact with them. I can interact with British man, though. You, you're gonna be getting one of these necklaces. Give gift. So, if you look, you see there's Light Necklace and Dark Necklace. And uh, they both say Sacrifice is key. Again, I just thought it was a more treasure for sacrifice thing, so I just completely ignore them. So, British Man, and where's that other dude? I, I added another dude to the, to the Bad Breaker clan. Just for this purpose, I went out and... Uh, Talk to Spider-Man. Uh, I think the dude was green. It's not Myrna Turn and Turn. There's it was some other dude. Yeah, Punati. There you go. You are also gonna get a gift, and you're gonna get the other necklace, the Moon necklace, the Dark necklace. Fog. Yeah, don't worry about it, brother. It's on the house. All right, so ritual, sacrifice of the flesh. Yep, I think this is the one. I'm gonna start with Punati. I could sacrifice the one who waits. Whoa, it gives so much fucking money. Are you joking? That's amazing. Let's see, Punati's probably gonna be like $10. Yeah, 21 Jamba Juice. I'm sorry, Punati. Oh yeah, he's been fucked. <gasps> That's amazing. Stay back. I'll slice your belly open. I'll cut that crown from your head. What foul place is this? Moments ago, I was... I was... Pog. I can't just redo it right now, right? Yeah, it's on cooldown. Okay. Well, we could do a run in between the two guys. Revivals. Because why not? Oh yeah, the followers are pogging. Let's see. No, he's not on the thing. 
Where is the our new dude? Is he just like a... Oh, he's checking out the graveyard. Let's see. He's a natural skeptic and against sacrifice. Hmm. Received necklace. Okay, so this is technically the same person. Interesting. We've gotten a god tier. I guess I'll go do a run real quick. We can do like a super run. It'll be amazing. Uh, why not spider zone? And yeah, it's silk cradle. I may or may not just skip over this run. I've yet to decide. We'll just be whether or not the commentary <laughs> is at all decent. Because we're going to need to do another run. Oh, after this guy. After we sacrifice the other one as well. Oh. Oh, yes. I will take the extra one half spirit heart. In the meantime, I guess I could, uh. You no, know, it's pretty much a favorite subject of mine to talk about, just like the old video games I used to play as a child. Uh, so I guess I'll ramble about that. I used to play. I can't believe I've done this. I used to play just a shitload of Purple Space Program. Uh, when I was a kid. I say a kid. I think I was in my teens. I'm not quite sure when it all came out. I used to watch... Uh, there's this dude called uh, Scott Manley. Who's like a... Like a real life rocket scientist. Unless he was just like full of shit. But I don't think he was. And uh, he played Purple Space Program. On top of being a rocket scientist. So it's just like uh, something he did in his off time, and then uh, he would talk about like actual rocket stuff. Like, uh, for example, there's like a random video where he talked about like dimethyl mercury, which was this like experimental rocket fuel that uh, I think America developed, and it's like the most heinous fucking god awful rocket fuel there ever was. Basically, uh, the scientist or whatever who invented the ship, or was working on the ship, they, like, had a drop spill on their glove, and uh, of these guys, I guess I'll just go on the right-hand path. Why not? Scientist had a... Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen this bathead person. That's pretty awesome. The single drop fell on their fucking glove and then just ate through the glove because it was such like a noxious, horrible material. The uh, dimethyl mercury. And it was absorbed by the person, uh, their body, and then they just like slowly, horribly died. Like took a year and it just never left their body. It was like the ultimate forever chemical. Uh, I don't think every one of his videos were downers like that, by the way. Anyways, so I watched that stuff. It was a good watching. And I played a ton of it. I didn't get, like, super duper good at Kerbal. Like, I could land on the outer planets. Uh, I guess I should explain what the game is. It's basically like the simulator of the solar system. And you build, like, physics-based rockets and launch them. I think it's, like, literally, like, one-tenth scale or something. Something like that. Or half scale. One of the two. Obviously, one is much, much more impressive than the other. Yeah, you launch physics-based rockets. It's got, like, stuff from actual rocket science in it. Like, uh... The fuel efficiency of the rockets are called like ISP, which is this like unit of measurement that scientists developed to be usable both with like metric and also uh, imperial measurements because it was like based off of seconds or something. 
So it's like a cool physics-based one based on the real physics. Uh, I think that's basically the gist of it. You have to manage like rocket fuel and stuff. So there's always like this uh, give and take that you'd have to do where like you can put more fuel in the rocket, right? To potentially make it go further. But the more fuel you put in the rocket, the more heavy the rocket is. And so the less bang for buck you get out of the fuel. So every rocket is like a balancing act of trying to make the rocket as efficient as possible, basically. And there's like a ton of different engines that are all based on real engines. Or like experimental or hypothetical engines, I think, in some of the cases. It was very neat. I remember... It took me a while before I could even, like, uh, land on the moon. Yeah, I'll get a necromantic blunderbuss. Why not? And, uh, in the game, there's, like, the second moon called Minmus. I remember having this, like, experience, basically, where I landed dudes on Minmus, but because, like, Minmus is, like, half the size of the normal moon. Because it's so, like, uh, low gravity, it's very hard to land on. Because, uh, reasons, you know? It's hard to describe. It's just a fucking absolute pain in the ass to land on low gravity planets. If I had to put into words, it's like, uh... If you, like, tap your engines a little bit, it'll cause you to, like, fly up. And you build speed very slowly, due to the uh, lesser gravity. So it's very difficult, you basically just have to like feather extremely lightly the, uh, the old stuff. So obviously, naturally, I... Oh my god, I've lost two hunts. So obviously I tried to land a ship on Minmus and... I did land the ship on Minmus. Unfortunately, it landed on the engine. And so, uh, the ship didn't explode, but it could no longer fly. So it was just stuck there. And so I sent, like, many rescue missions trying to just, like, get the people off the, uh, Minmus, off the planet. Uh, because, again, it could not fly away. I'm trying, I'm getting a little mind flooded. I'm trying to remember how exactly it went down. I remember, uh, I think it was very hilarious, but also very tragic. I eventually, like, successfully got another crew up to the planet to, uh, you know, do the rescue mission. I fucked up the landing again. <laughs> so this, like, new... Person. It was just like a one-man operation because I, I needed the uh, space, you know, in the pod to bring people back. I remember just like basically like having the one dude like go up and climb into their rocket and sit in their little rocket pod. Which was hilarious to me. Yeah, that was the worst dodge ever though. Followed by the worst dodge ever. Followed by the worst dodge ever. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Okay, get this little guy out of here. Get out of here, Honduras. There we go. Jesus Christ. I will take this in. Give it to me. Inject it straight into the veins. Alright, might as well see if the sacrifice ritual is up once again. Please tell me it is. No, it's one third off cooldown. Are you fucking joking? I don't have like another sacrifice room. I don't think I do. Is Furry ever going to come back, by the way? I feel like I... Suspiciously, suspiciously been absent. Obviously, this dude is going to be called Batman because he's a bat and a man. 
Welcome to the squad, Batman. Og. Work the fields, back, Batman. I also get the first synonym as well. I can see the dude dance in the background. It's got like the little anime bat ears. It's hilarious. Yeah. I think to pass the time, I'm just gonna meditate like a. Uh... Fuck, there's a word for it. Oh no, I've lost it. I will just say, <laughs> I will just meditate. Uh, there is a. There's like an ability you can do. Meditate L. Gotcha. To just advance time quickly. Now, oh, what do you want, Rob? Taste leader. We have given you everything we own, and we're also poor now. Sure. I will give it. Because I want to check the ritual. I want to check the ritual, see if I can sacrifice another one of you motherfuckers. No, but it's halfway there. Consider yourselves lucky for now. Thank you, leader. My faith in you is justified. Oh, cultivation. That is the... Meditating like a cultivation person. Oh, what do you want now, Brob? Peter, my brother and I were traveling through the Darkwood. Fine, I'll find Hunoir in the Darkwood. But I will be back. I'm chopping it out of the video. Which is gonna be another snake. Or maybe we'll take after his, like, starting form. Also, we did, in fact, get furry. Welcome back to the squad. Thanks for the sin, bucko. He's foggin. That's what I'm talking about. No damage bonus. 50%. What a friggin' absolutely awesome run. Alright, let's see. So, you're the brother of Brob. There's some other guy who commented on my stuff around the same time. I guess I'm gonna name him after that guy. Let's see. Had the annoying orange as the avatar. Yeah, the Zenes. I hope that isn't like a slur backwards or something. Obviously, he's going to be orange. Oh, this is a good follower. Pog. Work the farms. Also furry, welcome back. Shalomokaya. Welcome. Alright, for the record, British man has the other necklace, right? Oh yeah, he's got the sun necklace. Is it time? Is it time for him to finally be sacrificed? No, it's very close to the time though. I'll just meditate some more. I'll cultivate my spiritual energy. Until it is close to nightfall. <laughs> so glad I didn't give that necklace to fucking that dude. Oh, dead body. British man is terrified of death. I hate to break it to him, but he's next on the list. British man. You may come to the first part of the stage. The front of the stage. You've served us well. Oh, they love the sacrifice. Master, I'm... What is this place? So much color. So many creatures. Master? Everyone might as well get a sermon to follow that up. Let me just make sure. Okay, the recording is not paused. Fantastic. 
Wonderful. Now, to complete the quest, to complete the thingy, the achievement, we're going to need I'm and the other guy to uh, be demons. Let's see. Where's the other guy? Ball. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's got his little hair. Welcome to the squad. What do you want, the one who waits? Oomph, I'm in Ball. I did not take them. They were given. Intended as keepers, perhaps. But they were young and in need of guidance. Must I be blamed for my influence? Salvage from the void. They are yours now. Do you wish? <laughs> Do what you wish, scornful god. I care not for them. Oh, I like that lore. Oh, the one who waits turns into a super spirit as well. That's hilarious. I guess I'll have him turn into one as well, just in case he's... Now I just need to go to the place. Uh, we need to feed these guys first, though. Well, it looks like some food's already on the way. Just get a little bit of extra. In case we have to do multiple loops. I'll just go to the Darkwood. It's the easiest biome. Uh, let me just <laughs> double check the guide as well. I can just pause the game. Let's see. So you give them the necklaces. Boom. Turn them into demons. Okay. I think we're on the right track. I didn't realize they'd be like little floating heads the entire time. It is hilarious. It reminds me of the fucking... <laughs> Like Futurama or The Simpsons or something. Dude, can this guy's a fucking zoom master? I start with five and a half hearts. That's so loaded. Uh, enemies drop fish. Sure, I'll make an offering. Twenty percent chance to get a spirit heart. Don't mind if I do. We have become even more HP loaded. We're discovering never before levels of HP. This is the power of having three followers on the quest. So we need to go to the... Oh, it's got a little exclamation mark. Perfect. Ooh, bones. Don't mind if I do. I will say we have a little bit too many followers right now. Oh, I can just ignore them. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. One can be certain of nothing but the hearts. Oh. A heart remembers, a mother shan't forget. Oh, generous fortune, should I be dreaming? Never allow me to wake. Kit, fraction of my beating heart. Pog. Ah, lamb, praise lamb, blessed lamb. My son returned, soul almost whole. Kindly deeds for kindly rewards. Take this, and I shall insist. Should my other son cross thy path, pass unto him that a mother loves, misses, and understands. Ooh. Blessed tears of vengeful father. This guy's a dude. 
Convert blue hearts to spirit hearts. Oh, that's so fucking good. Often I would hope and scorn myself foolish that upon the opening of mine eyes my kits would return. When they did not, I would dream instead of their smiling faces held close by kindly paws. Oh, with all my humble heart did I yearn for such. And here now, ah, the wounds of a heart once carved may yet be healed. Blessed lamb, the heart remains an infinite vessel, and yet mine overflows. What language speaks love? What of gratitude? Whichever it is, mine is due to you. <laughs> oh, they're exchanging gifts? No, he ate his own gift. I've got the tears of the merciful mother. None have mourned like the mother without a child. Okay, maybe this is the mother. Damn tears of the merciful mother. Mother. Tears of the veg vengeful father. What drives the patriarch without clan? True love found. Reunite I am and Ball with Fornius. I don't know, that's a very masculine sounding name. Uh, I'll take the 15 coins. Okay. It's kind of going in for the hug there. <laughs> okay, the cat's no longer happy. Sag. So, are they just gone from my cult now for eternity? Be a little bit tragic if so. Let's see. I've just got one tired follower. I guess they're gone from my clan forever. Though I probably can, uh... Probably can see them every time I go to the shop now. Yeah, I could just probably look at my colts. Uh, be under the followers tab. Yep. They're gonzo beans. Well, that's pretty cool. Glad I could get that all done in one go.